Hi, and welcome back. Okay, in the previous video, we looked at how the login uh, XML design will look like, and here we have it. Uh, it's right here. So let's check it out on the design view. So it's pretty simple, username, password, a login button. If they don't have a login, uh, if they don't have an account, they can click this account, and they'll be taken to the next another register activity where they can be able to sign up. So let's start making our login activity register uh, listen, uh, design listen to our Java code and do some interactions with the user. So we'll go to login activity.java and here we say extend activity. And then now let's start initial initializing. So let's close all this unnecessary the uh, files we're not using here. So activity login, we have the add, an edit text. Uh, an ID of user login text box. So we'll start by calling that one and we'll do that here. And I like calling mine protected. You can use girls private if you like, I like protected. Um, and I'm gonna call this, this is an edit text and I'm going to call this M username, M username because it's unique for this file. So M username. Then to make work easier, just copy this, paste it, and then paste it again. And get rid of the L. And then M M password. So actually with the login, we just need we have two, we have the just username and password, two edit text and two buttons. That we want to interact with. So we have the login button. So we're going to call a protected button. And this is M login button. And then we have a protected button that we want. We're going to call this M create account button. Now let's initialize those here. Initialize the variables. So M username equals to new. Uh, actually, not new, but you cast it to an edit text, just like we did in in the register uh, activity. So we find the view by its ID. And the ID is that we want is username log that, that was at login. So that's the importance of uh, that's why I always try to rename mine differently username login text using the place it is because as you can see this is a confusion that always occurs and you might end up calling a different one and then you will subtract you end up getting spending hours and hours and hours wondering why your code is not working because of an issue like that. So try to kind of make your ID something that you can easily remember. That's just my uh, kind of theory. <laughs> and then M password equals to edit text. Then we find the view r dot id dot uh, and the password is password login text box again the same case. So and then we find the log uh, the login button M login button equals to the button and then we find the view r dot id dot and the button for login is um login button yeah it's pretty should be unique and then m creates account equals to button and then find view by id r dot id dot uh create account at login yeah so that's important so i know where it is so i've initialized my variables so now let's start interacting with them let's listen to when listen to when the login m login button is clicked and then Uh, log in the user using parse 
SDK. And then once the user has logged into Parse using SDK. So, and then Parse, one, one good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about creating the code about uh, of checking if the user is logged in or, or not. Uh, Parse handles this. So this is really the power behind having a, a cloud uh, server like Parse to ha uh, host your coding. Uh, it's really essential. So we'll head back to Parse here and the documentations they have uh, in the Android section here at users, you can see how you can log in a user here, logging in. And this is it. Of course, after you allow a user to sign up, you need to be able to let them log into the account in the future. To do this, you can use a class method, login in the background. So logging in background uh, will enable us to make the user, uh, you know, log in asynchronously uh, with the main thread. So without interfering with it, of course. So copy that and we just paste it here. And as you can see, everything is just done for you except the pass exception E. For some reason, I always have to retype this or this new log back. Yeah, this, um, the callback here, the login callback, I always, whenever I copy it, it doesn't work immediately. I have to kind of rewrite it. So just simply just do that and Auto complete using control space, and you'll be able to see login callback, or and it should be the first thing. So now let's log in the user. So parse user, login in the background, Jerry, and shoot the money should be the password, and Jerry is the username. So let's get the username and the password from the users, and we can do that here. I listen to the when the login is clicked. So we're going to say m login button dot set on click listener. So we're basically trying to uh, listen to when it's clicked and then we could <clears throat> read what the user has uh, entered into the, into the edit text. So here we say, get the user inputs, in inputs and convert to string. Get the user input from the text box from edit text and convert to a string. So let's do that right here and um, we'll say string and we'll go and say username, create a new string equals to, and we're going to call this m username, m username dot get the text you get the text from the username from this edit text you get the text and then now once you get the text you convert it to a string and then we try to trim it that's pretty much what we've done simple so we hold it into a string called username copy that again and then paste uh, uh i did something wrong there and then paste it again and then this one we're going to call this password. And then m password dot get text to string and then we trim it. And then now the username here is what we're going to use to log in the user. So we might as well just get rid of that code out there and just put it in here. And we do it when the user has clicked it inside the on click because you don't want to do it outside when they on create so that we log in the user automatically. That's not the point. You want to do it when the user has clicked the button. So uh, paste it in there. And now we have the username that we can use. Control C, copy that. Command C for Mac, which I'm using. I'm used to, I'm not used to Mac that much, but getting there. And then password. And then, uh, now that's all we have to do. So here we have the parse user and the exception. So we'll say here, if the exception, then we'll call else here. So we'll say if, if the exception, if E is equals to null, then yeah, we have a sign up. Now we'll say, Success. We have 
uh, user signed up. User logged in, not signed up. Logged in. And then here, sorry, there was a problem. Advice user. So we want to advise the user if there's an error. Um, and then So if you're wondering how would you reformat the code in Windows, uh, in, in Mac, it's command, uh, options command L. In Windows, it should be control shift, I believe, F or L. You just have to find out, but it's one of those tr tricks you need. Okay, so if the user sign it successfully, you want to alert the user, check the, alert the user with a toast. And we say tools that make text, and we get the application context. We say the, the uh, login activity that this because we inside them in a in a method done, and we're going to say um, the text we want to say is welcome back. And then uh, toast that length long that show to show it. And then now, after we've done that, we want to take user to the home page as well. So we take the user to the home page by saying intent by just doing the same thing, and then name it here take user home equals to new intent and then the, um, we're coming from the login activity dot this context to uh, not register but the home page activity that class and after that we start the activity by saying take user home and that should do it so let's try to and then actually before we do it let's write the error part let's just handle the error so that we can do it all at once so we're going to use an alert dialog dot builder so I always write, like writing my code a number, a numerous times so that I kind of practice. Uh, that's my kind of my uh, tool for doing code all over. So I, instead of writing the code, instead of copying the code most of the time, I try to write it over and over. Uh, so I can simply go to register activity just to save time and just copy the, uh, the alert dialog message which I can't find. In this case, I'll just have to create it. And uh, alert dialog dot builder. And then login activity dot this. And then builder dot set message equals to uh, we get the error e dot get message, so we get what error it is displayed to the user, and then builder dot set title, and then we say sorry, and then we have builder dot set positive button, and we say new. Uh, the first thing is actually the text that you want to say. In this case, we'll say okay. And then new on click listener. And then here we'll say close the dialog when the dialog when the OK button is pressed. So we'll say dialog interface dot dismiss. And make sure you end the put the quotation there. And then let's run this and let's check it out.
so let's try logging in a user that with a wrong password so one two three the password is not the right password and we'll get this she get an alert dialog and we did not for some reason okay login button get test username password okay oh <laughs> I didn't not show the <laughs> that's another thing so we say alert dialog I didn't even let me say dialog is equals to builder we didn't create it that create and then dialog dot show so that we could be able to display the dialog so in this case we didn't log in because we didn't see any success or welcome back message so let's try again run Ronnie and the password I put in one two three three and this time we should get invalid login credential uh, working so that's the thing a lot dialogue we should need to create it and then show the dialogue so remember that so it's always good to practice and then so let's try to log in with the right uh, credential and see if we are taken to the home page and there we have it welcome back you're taken to the home page so great 